Hello, today we are executives of a top oil corporation in the game Peak Oil Profits here. Now we are sent to this war-torn nation to sell oil and make loads of cash before corruption brings everything tumbling down. In addition, there's networking, blackmailing, bribing, drilling and selling weapons. Now this one's medium complexity, plays 1 to 5, takes about 30 to 60 minutes and we have the designers and publishers there as well and these guys also brought us peak oil with this game being set in the same universe as a standalone game let's take a closer look Today, I am the Yellow Corporation taking on Evil Corporation. And I've gone for the green ones today, which are one of the easiest corporations to take on. You can sway the complexity of this game by picking a different corporation that is harder because their action cards have various icons at the bottom, which can get a bit trickier. So we've gone for the easier one. Now, what are we doing? So I've done an overview and a run-through video already, so you can can go and have a look at those. I'm not going to go too heavy on the rules today, but essentially you've got this war-torn fictional nation here, and you've got these three different factions. You know, we're controlling these. We're going to be selling weapons. We're going to be bribing and blackmailing leaders here. We're going to be having buying drilling rights to get our rigs onto the board and selling oil to make the most money. Now, in this game, my opponent, the evil corporation is the only one who can make this board and this land more corrupt. So we start on 93, and once corruption reaches 100%, we've ended the game. And if I have over 100 million, and I start off with five, I have won. But how well have I won? And on the rules, you can see if I get between 100 and 129, I'm mediocre. Try an easier opponent. And you can see if I get to 166 million, unreal, it says, Maybe I need to try a harder opponent. So what have we got set up wise then? Some slight variances from the sort of two to, to, to three, four player game. You will be having these uh, consultants only and there's no events in this solo play and you'll take the consultants that have a little car at the bottom right. Give them a shuffle and they are face up. You'll place as usual a cube on the starting locations and I start with 5 million, two rigs. Now, my opponent can have as many rigs as required, and they are in control of all the leaders, but I get to take a blackmail card at random, and this is the leader I will start off with, which is a red faction politician, which is interesting because I also have the card here to prevent him from being, or him or her, from being stolen or bribed and manipulated. So they are in charge of all of these. They do not, you don't have to do anything with their money. They literally have enough money, the game says. So they literally are like the bank and the supply. So you don't need to mess around with their money, which is kind of nice. And let's begin then. So the first thing I am doing is picking an action. Now, I'll assume you're familiar with them, but this one's all about selling weapons, which is about getting some money. This one is selling oil, which is about getting loads of money, hopefully. This one's networking number one, which is about, you know, bribing one of these officials and attaining blackmail cards, which are very useful in defending your position. Because if my opponent, Evil Corporation, tries to attain this politician, I can block it with this blackmail card. You've got the attaining drilling rights, which is crucial to getting these out on the board. But you do need the faction colour of that particular uh, you know, sway of power out there. And this one is contingency, which in this case is just taking one of these consultants. Or if I don't want the consultant, I can take the money, $5. And if I do take the money, I discard the top consultant as well, which you know, lets me cycle through them if I don't quite like the the top one. So to begin with, I am going to go networking. So I've chosen my action. It then goes over to Evil Corporation. And the first thing they do every time is sell weapons. And you look at which faction has the most cubes in a tie, which is happening now. You go to the top most, which is going to be the government. You place that 
in their starting location with their sort of emblem there and you roll the dice and you have to keep rolling until they find an available spot or you know they've got a combat with someone so we're going for a two and just round this territory you look for the dice and we can see number two is on this border so it's coming into this zone here and that's fine it was empty so they stay there next thing the opponent does is take a blackmail card and they will pinch and blackmail my leader if i have this one and i don't i have i don't have a brown politician now you put this into discord pile which is probably just out of camera view but this is open information and the game recommends sort of you know spreading these out so you can see and that really helps you with your decision process so the next thing they do is take the top action card and they've got five just like you know myself and these are randomly shuffled and you're not looking at the action itself just the bottom icons from left to right so what have we got here we've got a, a little rig and that means we look for these rig with a number one so you've got one two three four five and six so they are going to put a rig here if they have control like in, in a normal game of a faction there is no faction there so they're not going to place their rig we go to number four there's equally no faction there so they can't place a rig then and we form a discard pile for that one because like if you've watched the overview and, and, and the run through, you can only put by drilling rights if you have a leader of a faction that's out there. So this this one and this one are the only available ones at the moment. Over to me then. So I was networking. So that means I take the top blackmail card. So this gives me a bit more sway. Now I could, just a reminder before my go, I could actually blackmail and take, if I have the relevant cards, take one of these leaders or I could use a religious leader. So in terms of what leaders you've got in the game, then you've got a political leader who is all about giving you no cost to pay when you play by those drilling rights. So that's why you want a politician. You've got the military leader, which is all about having power over these free ports because you will get a 10 million cut if you are a military leader at that point, the oil is trying to leave this war-torn nation. And the religious leader is great to have to give you flexibility to attain one of these other two leaders if you haven't got the blackmail cards or maybe the money to try and attain that. So we have taken a blackmail card. Are we going to bribe, which is the second thing we are looking to do? May I've only got five million. Do I want to spend all that? I think I'm just going to hold out for a moment because I can get in the blue faction. But do I want to take the military leader for the government? That's a good question. Let's give it a go, shall we? Now, I should add that on these blackmail cards and on the actual tokens, it tells you how many of that particular token, uh, well, that icon, are in the blackmail deck. So there's three military leaders in here and i can see in the discord that none have come out so there's a good chance this is going to come out now may and I'm, I'm only doing this action i don't i'm going to take the most of this action now so i am going to bribe now how do you bribe then so i look at the government faction which is brown i come down and i can see in this row here i'm paying a cost of three to bribe that lead and now a slight difference you're only paying the cost once because in a multiplayer game if that was an uncontrolled token leader which it is here you just pay the cost but if it was controlled by an opponent and i don't want to confuse matters here but you'd pay money to the bank and to the opponent as well so that isn't applicable here right i've done my action next thing then i am going to pick I'm going to separate these. I'm going to pick my action for next turn. So we've got control and leaders in these two factions. So should I go? Yes, I'm going to go and try and buy drilling. All right. Okay. So that is going to be. Let's stack these, shall we? That's going to be my next action. But over to my opponent, Evil Corporation. They are going to be selling weapons with blue then. So we look at the most, and we look at the tie. So we go to the top here. So they place it on there. Roll the dice. Four is going into this area here. We take the top blackmail card. I do not have a red military leader, so I'm safe for now. 
They're then going to take their action, which is to sell oil. But they don't have any drilling rights, so we move to their next one. And that is to increase corruption. Now, corruption is going to go up by either the icon you've just seen, if, you know, they couldn't have done the left action, which they couldn't, so you go to the next one. And every time Evil Corporation sells oil, you're going to increase that as well. Over to me then. So I am placing drilling rights. So I have only got this location I can place in because you need a leader. And I have got a military leader in Brown. Could be a... Oh, no. I just realised I haven't got enough money to do that because I am going to have to pay... We look at the government. We go down and it's going to cost me £6 million. And I don't have that money. I kind of got muddled. If I had a brown government politician, I could have got it for free. Okay, so what happens here, typically, is if you can't do your go, you can change. As long as you haven't used the blackmail option or the religious leader, you can forfeit your go and take a standard action five contingency, which I, what we've got, corporate lawyer, buy and drilling rights. You do not need a matching leader. And each matching leader grants you a discount of free, which is kind of nice. So like in that example, if I had a different color uh, faction, I could use that to get a, a, another faction's drilling rights. So that's what my corporate lawyer, but I'm not, I'm not too fussed about it. I'm going to take the five bucks for now, because as you can see, I have uh, not got a lot of money. And that means I can discard this one. We now have a Bounty Hunter. So when we sell weapons, if movement results in combat, choose one. I can either remove only the troop that ruled the region before or gain an additional two bucks. So maybe I want to get that one. We'll see, eh? So I've got a bit of cash here now. And that was my go. So I'm picking... Now, am I going to go for drilling rights again? Now, I do have seven million. And the odds are... Hmm... I'm hopefully needing brown and red. Yeah, reds are most... Well, reds aren't in... No, I'm, I'm, yeah, I am going to do the same again. I do believe I've got just enough money. Now, if I didn't have maybe enough money, I probably want to go and sell weapons, which will give me a bit more uh, money and a bit more influence on the board as to where the factions are so I can go different places. So for now, I'm going to give it another shot. Hopefully nothing ruins my plan that's why they're called evil corporation so they are they are selling weapons for the red faction so that comes here roll the dice we've got a number one up there okay which is actually not too bad for for my grand plan so they are taking a blackmail card and i'm fine i do not have a political leader in brown, their action then is to sell again, and they have not got any drilling rights, so they're going to increase corruption. Now, a couple of things to note, that if you wanted to take over an opponent's drilling rights, you would need all three of the faction leaders to do so, and you pay the usual cost here to the bank. Okay, but that wasn't the case. Where are we? So I've chosen drilling rights. They have done their action over to me then. So I do have a lead. Well, I have got... So if I went here, my oil path would be either to... Well, this one red here. And if I went there, I would have to give 10 million to Evil Corporation because they're controlling the military leader. And equally, if I went down here, there is no faction there. So I'd actually get this little grey symbol down here of 15 mil, and I don't want to do that. Whereas if I come here, I have got a brown leader, and I've also got the military leader, which means I get top dollar. So that is why I'm placing one of my two here. And that was drilling rights. Oh, I do have to pay. I can't forget because I don't have the politician for the government. So I look at the brown faction i come down and i am paying six million but hopefully i can get a good return on investment for that okay that is me done and my next action is pretty obvious i'm going to try and sell oil my opponent is up so they're going for the 
the top one here, the Goverman, because they're all tied, they're selling weapons. We've got a one. They're coming into the main coastal area. And I like to leave these near the port, so it kind of reminds me this way as to when selling oil. They're then revealing this one. We have got the guerrilla faction, the Reds, with military leader, so we are not being bribed and blackmailed. Over to their actual go. So the drilling rights number two is empty, so they're not going there. And number six is available, so they are up there. Over to me then. I was selling oil. Great, so this is going to follow this path here. And you can see the faction in the port is the colour I'm looking at. So I come down here and I'm getting 30 million. I take my, my rig off the board and I am equally the military leader. So no one is taking you know, part of my profits. I'm getting all 30 million here. Now this market here is fascinating folks because the more power and influence that's on the board then the less tokens are here which influences the price of things so you know the more influence on the board the costlier it is to bribe and blackmail these these you know power figures equally if you're if there's more influence on the board it's cheaper well you're getting less money for selling weapons you're getting more uh, costly to buy those drilling rights and you're getting less money when you sell oil so just very interesting balance of those tokens there okay so i have sold oil and it's only my opponent who influences the corrupt corruption track i think i'm just gonna go for the same again and try and make another sale so i'm gonna go for the buying drilling rights although if I have got the blue politician potentially I could use to bribe if something happens to this military leader. Because I'm looking at this discard pile and, you know, we'll, we'll see. Eh? So my opponent is selling weapons for the blues. We got a one. So we're coming down here. That's empty. That's fine. And they are taking the blackmail card. Okay, yeah, I do not have that leader. We're safe for now. And their action is to go to number three, which is here. And number five, uh, no, just the one. There we go. So we've gone through the whole hand. So you, you go through all the actions as such, all the bottom icons. So I'll shuffle that one. And over to myself, who is placing by drilling rights. So we, well, firstly, uh, well, we do have... The red. So, I mean, I've got two options. I can either come up here because I do have the political leader in red, which is great because that's going to be no cost. But it's only going to come to one of these two ports. And actually, this port is controlled by me. So I, I quite like that. Or I could sort of get the blue political leader and start coming to these two locations. So maybe I want to keep this card for now. And I'm going to go and place this up here. Right, we're happy. We're happy with that because just realised I've still got this blackmail card. So if something, if someone does come knocking on his door, I can uh, prevent him from being blackmailed. Okay. So what am I going to be doing next then? Well, that is definitely going to be trying to sell my oil. Right, my opponent. So they're placing a red one here. Uh, let's re-roll that one. We're going to the two, so that's coming up here. We carry on, and they're over to here. And the top blackmail card. Nope, we're safe for now. Their actual action is to sell. Okay, so good example now. They've got these two rights, drilling rights, and either way, these two are coming to a port controlled by me, and that one as well. Now, you essentially go to the port that makes me, the, the opponent, the least profit. Not about maximizing evil corporations' profit. And in this case, I am getting 10 million no matter what. So breaking tires comes down to the, the numbers on the actual drilling um, rigs themselves. So we've got a three and a six, and it's the, the highest number. So this one is selling, so it comes down here. This comes off the board. And I am getting 10 million. And obviously, Evil Corporation's got all the money, so you don't do anything with their money. 
but they've sold oil, so the corporate the cor corruption goes up one. And over to myself, I'm selling as well. It was from here down to the brown faction, so I get my top dollar. So the even though it was from a rig where the red faction was, the price you're getting is the faction it gets to the the port. So we're looking at the, the government here, and we are getting 30 million, and I do own the military leader. Let's see how we're doing for money. Because we're 30, 40, 50, 60, 71 million. We're not far off the 100, to at least say we won the game. And that was my action. I think I'm in quite a nice position here. So I am going to just do the same again. I'm not too fussed about this particular this particular consultant. And I don't really need 5 million. I think I can make more. Selling weapons is not really going to give me that money. So I may as well try and get these drilling rights down. Okay. My opponent is putting some more government officials out. Number one, so it's coming into here. Another one, so it's coming back. So you've got to keep rolling. And we're in this zone, okay. Right, I am taking this card here. And we're safe. Over to their action then. Number one, right, that's going to cause problems for me. Because I was hoping to go there. Right, okay, we'll see what we can do about this then. My turn now. I've got a red leader. And I can't go there. Because I haven't got all three of the red leaders to, to take over and, and pay that amount. So I can't go there. I can't go there either. Same situation. So I'm having to go to one of the blues. And I don't have a blue leader. But at the beginning of your turn, you can blackmail or play a religious leader. And I am going to blackmail. So I put that in the discard. I take this particular leader, which is quite nice because it means I can do it for zero cost as well. I am now going to place, well, buy my drilling rights. Uh, we'll go here. And uh, no cost as well because I've got the political leader. So that's kind of nice. And that was my go. So next action will be to sell oil. Opponent is up. They're going for the blues. There's got to be some combat now, surely. They're going into region one. And now they're going into region one. Wow, we managed to avoid combat. The board's looking pretty full there. Okay, so now let's take a blackmail card. We're still safe. Wow, we really have done well with this, this leader here. I'm expecting that to be stolen. Now, if I didn't want to steal that, I should probably be going for networking more, getting more blackmail cards, because I would be taking the blackmail cards from here, not just... Relying, well, not relying, but not just hoping that my every time my opponent takes one, that's not going to impact me. So, but I don't want to do networking. I'm in the game of selling oil to get this money ASAP. Right then, so their action. Number three, they already have. And number five is already mine. So they are not doing anything. And remember, this is easy mode. You can get harder with different corporations over to me then. So we are selling... We are going down to this port and the government is paying out 26. No one's stealing it off me because I'm the military leader. So I'm getting 26. Now I believe that's getting close to my 100. But I ain't going to peak just yet. Right, next action I will be doing. I'm thinking networking, but will it be too late? Do I just go, if I do decide to go and get another rig, let's see how the political blue leader is doing. Right, there's two. There's definitely going to be a political blue leader in these five cards. I cannot go. Whoa, there is one on the reds now. I could go there. Okay, I feel like I'm safe for now. And I can protect this 
a red politician with my black mark card. Okay, I think we're good to go and try another drilling rights, which is this one. It's got to be a battle, surely, now. So the reds are coming on the board. We've got a one. We've got a three, which is over here. All right, one for one, then. So we've got a few more tokens back. Blackmail card. Yep, yeah, there it is, and I can't defend it either. So this leader is coming back here, which is going to start giving me a reduction of 10 mil when I sell oil now, because I don't have any military leaders in their action then is going to number two. Oh, that's painful as well i was hoping to go there and over to me so can i do this i can some blue faction available and i can get it for free as well so we're going to go here next action will be selling oil even though it's going to be a reduction of 10 mil, it's still worthwhile. I'm not going to go for the networking. Okay, then where are we there? At? They are taking, it's a tie, so it's going for the government one. And we've got a number two, which is up here. And that is vacant as well. Okay, so we've got a blackmail card. Oh, second one came out. No effect for me. Their action, they are selling. At last, hopefully give me some options to get in the drilling rights. So what have we got then? They, uh, I've got no military leaders, so they can sell to any poor. I'm not going to be affected by profits. So it basically comes down to their largest number, which is this one here. So that comes off. And shuffle their actions, and it's over to me then. So I am selling oil as well. This one here comes down to this government port. Government is charging a measly 26, of which 10 will be paid for their corruption. And I'm getting 16. So you can see the impact of not having that military leader. All right, let's just count my funds and see where we are at. So we got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90... 100 so we are definitely winning 110 i got 113 now you would play on you don't just hit 100 and end the game and once this corruption hits 100 i'm not going to continue i'm just going to sort of demonstrate what happened once corruption hits 100 that is it and just a reminder that can only be achieved by the evil corporation here selling oil and having their cards with this symbol on and it seems in the easy game there's not many of those symbols so we're just waiting for them to sell oil and at that point in time i would add up my money i would look at these rules and determine how good a player i was in a corporation and that folks is pretty much it give it a go if you own the game this solo you know options and the the, the, the rules it's really fluent as you've hopefully just gathered enjoy